Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how you can submit your bank details to Google AdSense and verify them in order to receive your payments from YouTube. Usually when your Google AdSense account reaches the verification threshold, which is around $10, AdSense automatically prompts you to verify your billing address and they would send you a six digit pin for you to enter and verify your billing address. Now, as soon as you finish verifying your, your billing address, all that you've earned from YouTube would start to appear in your Google AdSense account. In other words, payments from YouTube would start to appear in your Google AdSense account. However, this might take time. It, it usually the payment starts to appear between the, the 10th and the 14th of the next month after you've verified your billing address. Now, as soon as the payment, the payments start to appear, that is as soon as you start to receive your payments from YouTube in your Google AdSense account, you can now add a payment method in order to receive your YouTube earnings. So how do you, I mean, enter your payment uh, or what, how do you add a payment method? There are several methods, you know, whether paycheck or whatever. Today, I'm going to share with you how to enter your bank details so that as soon as your earnings, your YouTube earnings reach the maximum threshold that you've set for yourself. In my case, for instance, I've kept 70 euros. So as soon as my earnings reach 70 euros, then AdSense would be able to transfer the payments directly into my bank account according to the bank details that I have provided. Like I told you, there are other payment methods, but I'm going to share with you how to add your bank details and verify them in order to receive your payments from YouTube. So let's start. All you have to do is to log into your Google AdSense account and come and click on payments. When you click on payments, then you would come and click on add payments method. When you click on add payments method, this page appears. And over here, all you have to do is to now enter the bank details. You have to make sure you that make sure that you enter the right details, enter everything correctly. In case of doubt, you have to contact your bank, verify the, the bank information and make sure you enter the right bank details. So it starts with your the name of your bank, that is your name as it is in your bank account or on your bank account documents. So make sure you enter the right name, your own name or the 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 what should I say the name that I mean um is in your bank account. In other words, your bank account name. I wouldn't try to complicate things. You simply enter the name of your bank account. For instance, Mr. So-and-so, Mr. XYZ. You do that. And after which you put the IBAN or your bank number, followed by what we term as the SWIFT code. It depends whether when you see SWIFT big or big code or SWIFT code or SWIFT big, everything, whatever that you see is the same thing. So, in case you have, like I told you, in case you have doubts, you have to contact your bank in order to get the right bank info. Usually, you can find your SWIFT code on the, I mean, on your bank documents, your original bank document, you can find your SWIFT code there. If you cannot find it, then you simply have to contact your bank. There are other methods online, you know, you can check, uh, but I don't advise that because depending on your region, you might yeah, the bank uh, swift code may differ according to you know your the, the region in which you have found so you might end up putting the wrong info and I, you know then you you'll have to restart the whole uh, entry process so i would advise that in case you don't know your swift code or your big or your swift big is the same thing all you have to do is to contact your bank all right so as soon as you've entered your the name of your bank account you've entered the IBAN or your bank 
account number and then you've entered the swift code or the swift big or the big code is the same thing then all you have to do is to simply click on save so when you click on save it takes us here and you would see this prompt and it reads google will deposit less than one euro they said one less than one euro because in, my, in where I am, we spend euros. Here in France, we spend euros. So if you are in Canada, for instance, I don't know the currency, Canadian dollars. If you are in maybe Ghana, Ghanaian cities. If you are in Morocco, for instance, Moroccan dirham. Wherever that you are, I'm just giving examples, you understand? Then, you know, Google, you, uh, Google AdSense would send you, it's usually something less than a euro or less than a dollar you know depending on where you are found so they would send you the, the i mean they would transfer an amount less than one dollar into their, their bank account that you've provided now they are saying that go to the payments the payment methods page and enter the exact amount of the deposit that you've received from google so you just simply click on got it now as soon as you click on got it this is how your i mean the, the payments page of your google adsense account will look like then you simply log out and wait till you receive the deposit so on the day that you receive the deposit you simply come log into your bank i mean your adsense account and the page would look like this then you simply come and click on payments then when you click on payments you come and click on verify in order to verify your bank details okay now when you click on verify what happens you would see this uh what do you call it this drop down list asking you to select the amount that you've received from google the deposit that you receive from google now, why is this so important? Google, or what should I say? Uh, Google AdSense is actually trying to make sure that, you know, you are the right, the, the, I mean, the, you are the, the legal owner of the Google AdSense account and, you know, and the YouTube account, you know, so they don't want any kind of, maybe somebody has hijacked you. So for security reasons, that's why they send you, I mean, the amount and, you can actually look at the amount as it is in your your bank account deposit or the deposit that you receive from Google for that matter. So you would look at it and just simply come and click on the drop down list and select the exact amount. So let's assume I received, for instance, let's say, let's take it that I received, let's say 0.21 euros. In your currency, it might be 0. Two one dollars it might be 0 0.21 pounds whatever that you received as deposit you don't have to enter it with your hand all you have to do is simply like i told you click on the drop down list and then select the amount that you received and then after which you come and click on verify now when you click on verify you see this your bank account is verified and your bank account they would give the you know the earnings of the endings of your bank account number is ready for use and you just simply click on got it and that marks the end of the submission of your bank details as well as the verification of these details in order for you to receive your youtube earnings in from your google adsense account so what that means is that as soon as you know you've reached the maximum threshold that you set for yourself or the maximum payment threshold that you set for yourself in my case it's 70 euros as soon as i reach i hit this uh, threshold then automatically google adsense is going to transfer my earnings directly into a bank account that i've provided Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.